This always looks so much better. Okay, uh, I think. Now I'm going to do this uh, this colored version <coughs> to just see if we can do that. So I just used the rest of this uh, ink here, and uh, I'm not sure if I need any more. That's all I think. We just do the leftover. So well, this one is on this side, right? Okay, I'm going to do this one. Just do. Two. A little bit white, if any, it's mm -hmm. okay. I can use my palm to, to uh, if I don't have blotting paper in hand, I just use my hand. Yeah. Okay. And then just do immediately, because, do the legs. because this water, uh, not drying water, it serves as a resist. So if you wait it too long, you don't have this watermark. Okay. And uh, that's it. Okay, then this this uh, little thing, a uh, suggestion of the the head. Okay, I don't have to close the gap. Mm, okay. That's okay. And I, I'll I'll wait a little bit for the tail. Um, I I just add a little dark to the, the trunk. We talked about the woody trunk, so you want to make the branches different than the trunk, I think, because the trunk is a uh, uh, different texture, right? So I just use one brush like he will always do. So this this uh, uh, plan goes up a little bit, it's like a little bit higher here. That's where it start. So this, the first one is darker, and he might do it like this, I guess I can feel he does. From the top down. I'm not sure if he that's he he did that. And then uh, I usually do the you, you remember we do the stroke like this and then we do this yeah. check mark, you know, oh. so, and go up like that. And uh, maybe something like that. Uh, so this. This four branch is basic uh, in the classic book, you know. Um, if this one may be going up like that. Okay, then um, new to that. Where is it from? Okay, I'll just leave it to leave a message here. So this one, I dried the brush and then just put a little water so I can do the, the, the one behind or next to oh, it. Okay. Um, I think I have to make it up to, just to... So there's crossing that it's hard to, to make actually, it's, mm -hmm. uh, so I just make it uh, irregular, yeah. not a... Uh, like a like a eight, number eight to avoid that maybe mm. okay we can do oh this should be a little lower but anyway i did it higher <laughs> anyway and uh, it's pro you know to keep it simple it's very important so maybe three is better than four mm -hmm. yeah. mm. okay now i just use the rest of the brush to do the the, the the branches and I hold the brush pretty mm -hmm. loose I just let it you know like mm -hmm. the gravity mm -hmm. and just like that I just drag it like that mm -hmm. and that's uh, a w one way to do it I, I don't have any pressure so I'm just like just this. drag it drag right? it and drag it yeah just drag it and let it bump let it bump And you have to use your arm for the, this. Uh, Looks like you're using your whole body. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're yeah. sort of leaning over. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay, just uh, have fun. So I, I hold the brush very loosely, uh, like that. And my mind is uh, more concentrated on the composition. 
the dance and the spars. Mm -hmm. I need to create some dance and spars, not even. Mm -hmm. you know, that's the, and uh, when you have chaos, think about the four. So the, the principle could come as a solution, as a, a fix, a rescue, you know, just to, to help you to solve problems. At first, you don't have to follow, but if, you, uh, if your instinct doesn't work, you use your ration, rational side of the brain to, to make it work. So this part, it looks like dance, you know, dance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, then somehow it's kind of confused. It doesn't, you don't have to make it clear, but some part you want to make it uh, really clear to show people, oh, I know the rules here. It's four, you know, something like that. Okay, so the brush is almost uh, exhausted. That's good. I don't have room for the, the, the uh, top of this part, but at least I, I have one part that shows the, the crown. Yeah, that's good enough. Some dry brush is fine. And then um, I can do the, the details on the, sorry, detail on the head. So this uh, is behind the, behind the, the body, right? So you can only see this much. And uh, let's see if it's dry enough. If not, you can use your, or you can feel it too with your, your mm -hmm. palm. Um, but this time, maybe I, I want to make this a little bit uh, thicker. Just yeah. just add another stroke next to it. And I was telling Sandy to do this. Mm -hmm. So I do it myself to show you. And you can just don't have to repeat all, just you can add another branch. Just maybe going behind the, the okay. okay. I'm going to use large brush to do the wash. Okay, let me do this. <clears throat> Take advantage of this white. You can just put it inside of the white. So this is strong contrast. Oh, did I do it wrong? It's not a S. Or, it looks good. It's, yeah, just go with the, yeah. the, the wind or something mm -hmm. like that. Um, so I'm going to wet this and then use some color. Okay. So I'm going to use this one. And uh, we don't have green from... Uh, on this palette I have, so I have to make it with uh, two colors, blue and uh, yellow. You don't have to blend it evenly. So some part is more bluish, mm -hmm. some part is yellow. It's just, if you uh, keep, if you exhaust the, the whole thing, you will have the natural uh, Shading, you, you can add a little bit dark, dark to mute it. This shady part could be a little bit. And this stroke is the, exactly the same as the uh, the thin strokes. Actually, you can. It got the same kind of motion. Stroke direction, and this could be a little bit uh, white, I think. Just a little bit. I want more saturation on this one, a little bit. Bit, uh, 
this cool yellow. Mm -hmm. so just use your watercolor color theory mm -hmm. with the thumbs. And just use the leftover ink to, I mean, color to finish the softer part. <coughs> this, uh, this uh, ground could be a little bit brownish, browny. Let me just use a little bit brown. And just do one, one big stroke. You can use leave some white it's okay to show the stroke okay i don't think we need to do the brown on the branches but you could just paint it maybe a little bit i don't think we need to do any more so that's it Next there's no good. leash no no as <laughs> just to, yeah. i forget yeah. about the leash yeah. it's, a, it's a, Exception. You uh, don't need a leash on that one. No. <laughs> yeah, he, he did uh, one painting. Uh, it says, Fang uh, Liu, uh, you know, oh. herding the ox on a cow. But there's no ox at all. He just did a leash on a, <laughs> on a piece of stone or a table or something. <laughs> so that the, the, the ox is gone. <laughs> Literally, he released. Fang Liu in Chinese released the, released the leash oh. <laughs> of the. The animal, you know, uh, herding, yeah, okay. So, let me see if I got enough. Calligraphy needs to be pure ink. So I'm going to buy a simple one. I'm not sure what it says. Uh, it says uh, something like uh, his age, I think. Oh, oh it's dedicated to some uh, artist friend uh, in Japan. This one was a... Uh, um, because Japanese was the first um, uh, among the f you know the the first sponsor or uh, patrons mm -hmm. in Japan, yeah, he made the first uh, successful show in Japan, um, and from that point, you know, people start to buy his art in China. So this this uh, person who received this was a Japanese collector, Yiten. Okay, I'm going to write, uh, I'll just write this one. I think this was done uh, in the 60s. Uh, I mean, in the 60s, 30s, in the 30s. So maybe it's not 80 something, uh, around 80. So I'll just say Fang, Bash and Orin. This is uh, our uh, mimic. So this will make it clear. But still in his uh, style. Mimicking his style. I just put the year of the, this. Uh, oops, um, I think I got wrong. This is the, the rabbit year. Yeah, that's what I think. Okay. And my name. Okay, and then. I just follow the <coughs> the template. Okay, just put uh, right on this branch. That's not very good, but it's okay. Oh. Yeah, that's uh, how much how how much time I, I did five minutes. It's quarter to. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's quarter to fifteen minutes. Fifteen yeah. minutes. Okay, good. Thank you. Looks good. And, uh, <laughs> hope you enjoyed the class and. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.